Hi guys, good morning. Heather Gibson can't contain her excitement. All right guys, hang tight. We're almost set up for our art class today. The professional artist. It is goopy. Is blending her passions. Very gooey. Creating art and improving lives in a most vivid way. We're going to be using primary colors today, so red, yellow, blue. Heather works for Art on Wheels. It always feels really nice when they remember my name, like, oh, hey, Heather, I know it's going to be art time today. <laughs> um, so yeah, yeah, definitely a, a bond is, is formed. The mobile nonprofit assists those facing challenges. Um, so today we're going to be making these little decorative mirrors. From people living with serious illnesses to young adults with disabilities. Y'all ready to make some art? On this day, Heather sets up her studio at SOAR 365. Yeah, I'm, I'm so excited to have this job. Just making art every day with my friends. A favorite place the VCU graduate visits twice a month. Everybody doing okay? Raise your hand if you need help. Heather's projects are always hands-on. But yeah, the, the substance is called paper pulp clay. The messier, the better. Extremely messy. <laughs> the messiest. This is a very messy one. <laughs> Benita Davis. They look like great balls of fire. <laughs> the supervisor of adult day support says the 90 minute classes have a lasting effect on clients. They look forward to it every other week when they come. They love it. They enjoy being able to create things on their own, um, being able to make something out of nothing. One of the benefits that we see in most of our programs is the social connection that art provides for folks. Art on Wheels interim executive director Kathleen O'Connor says creating art in whatever form can be a powerful tool for the artist. Maybe it's not communicated verbally, but you can see it in the work that they're becoming more comfortable and more confident. Lovely, I love it. Artist Joey Wheeler from Chesterfield never misses an Art on Wheels day at SOAR 365. Sheesh. Our participant artists and our relationships with our program partners, it's everything to us. So we'll, we'll show up for as long as they'll have us. <laughs> yeah, so once you're done, just leave them on the saran wrapped cardboard and they can dry just like that. For Heather Gibson. They're gonna love it. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad. Helping yeah. novices tap into hidden talents is fulfilling beyond measure. It's fantastic. It brings a lot of meaning into my life and I hope it, you know, makes their day fun. It's always fun when Art on Wheels rolls in. Great job, we did it. Because at the end of the day. All right, looking forward to next time. Y'all have a good lunch. Each artist walks out with their own masterpiece. Yeah, they, I think um, they usually leave with high spirits about what they made. Bye guys. Some of the creations done by the artists will be going on display at the main branch of the Richmond Public Library from September 2nd through October 5th. If you'd like to learn more about Art on Wheels, I have that information on our show website. For Heroes Among Us, I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News.